And now we have lucky number three. After her <laughs> role on Generations, The Legacy, Candice Modicelle continues to cement herself in the entertainment industry as an actress to be reckoned with. And she joined, uh, joins us now to share more about her rising career. If you've got any questions for Candice, please connect with us online using the hashtag Afternoon Express. Not only are you smart, <laughs> but girl, you are bright. <laughs> in more ways than one. In more ways. If I was any lighter, you'd probably see me blush right Oh, you are absolutely <laughs> beautiful. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. This is your first time here. It is. So now you know why your sisters love it here so much. No, I think <laughs> I'm going to submit myself quite solidly, not only in the industry, but right here in the home of Africa. Uh, exactly, of Afternoon, Afternoon Express. Express. Totally. Yes. So tell us a little bit about, uh, I mean, obviously everybody loves you uh, for your role in Generations. Yes. <laughs> how, how did your audition go? Like, what was the process of you becoming uh, our soapy darling? Okay, well, many people have the very lengthy... Um, audition process of yeah. a call out and then they'll have a couple of people that come in. Mine was somewhat different. Um, so um, the woman, O Pumza, had contacted yeah. uh, my agent, like, listen, I'd like Candace to come in and audition for this role. And I was thinking there were a couple of people auditioning. I don't know, there probably were, but then um, she asked me to come in, I read for the character and she was like, do you like the character? And I'm like, sure. And then she's like, I've seen what you've been able to do. Um, so I read a few lines and she's like, okay. I'll see you in November. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm like, for what? For my callback? Yeah. For my actual audition? Like, yeah, um, but the thing is, when your work speaks for you, and exactly. I, I guess the work does itself. And it absolutely does. And I'm yeah. so pleased that you said that because I think sometimes online, a lot mm. of people assume that you went into the media industry because your sisters were there. And yes. So, I mean, and, and you clap back at that quite a lot. But the yes. fact is, this is your, you, you stand on your own regardless mm. of the people around you. How do you deal with that kind of nastiness uh, look all of us and I think that's it's just a human thing in general we all have our own idiosyncratic journeys yeah. and comparison is a thief of absolute joy and being able to find the grace and yeah. the glory and the gifts that God has been giving yeah. you um, but for my journey especially it's something that, that I anticipated naturally yeah. that I would have to walk in the shadow but at least and I'm so blessed to have such incredible sisters exactly. that I am being compared to yeah. so I don't see it in any way as a negative thing that's not stealing away from my journey in any way yeah. some people may think that it's because of my following that I'm doing what I'm doing but I'm like look I've got a long archive of work exactly I have 15 years of theater experience exactly. before generations even came into my life I have an honest degree to speak for me yeah uh, and and those are the things that I think carry the work, not so much who I'm associated with and the numbers that I may have yeah. or anything of the sort. Well, your work definitely yeah. does speak for it. And you, yes. your work on camera and behind the scenes as well. Tell yeah. us a little bit about the work that you do with the Department of Higher Education and Pride Factor. Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad you asked me that question. <laughs> no, right. because I think it's amazing work. I think it's definitely yeah. worth celebrating. Definitely. We need to give her high fives all round. <laughs> so I was extremely blessed to meet the amazing Dean Boerter. And what he's doing... Isn't he lovely? He's sensational. Yeah. Oh, he's great. Uh, so what he's doing a lot with Pride Factor is really about inspiring and unleashing the potential of young people, but also giving them access to information that they may not ordinarily have to prepare them for the workspace. Yeah. So in association with the Department of Higher Education and Training and EDI, which is Entrepreneurship Development in Higher Education, um, we went to Roto last year, but this year what's really cool is that it's hashtag connected youth in association with Vodacom. And we're going around to different um, institutions like we're going, like we're doing last year, but we've got a range of speakers, we've got Hezron Lowe. Um, we've got Fred Bokhasu, Danny Kay, oh my gosh, Musisum Willimi, Dean mm. himself, and it's just been absolutely remarkable. So um, you can look forward to seeing me on the 3rd of September um, at the UJ Soweto Institution. Yeah. So uh, again, it's about um, unleashing entrepreneurship yeah. potential yeah. and development in students because far too many graduates um, go out into the working world without any information on how to really empower themselves as employers and not necessarily employees. Yeah. And we want to enlighten them on that look you're a bright young star bright young star <laughs> <laughs> and you've got such a remarkable career ahead of you Thank what you. do you want to cement yourself as what like what kind of work do you want to be doing what kind of roles do you want to go for so the, the beauty is um, in the process of really being able to become the architect of my own narrative mm -hmm. and rewrite the the narrative of what young black women are able to achieve in this entertainment industry it's not about being beautiful it's not about being the uh, quote-unquote um, 
it girl or anything of that nature but I want firstly like I've mentioned my work to speak for me not my mm. beauty which I mean I know it's there I, I mean <laughs> it's hard not to <laughs> notice <laughs> <laughs> but in addition to that um, it's to really cement myself in understanding the value of hard work yeah. and to um, and that's the beauty of also me starting my own company that I will be launching uh, at the end of the year it's to really find that and to become the voice of the youth and to use that voice and use that platform and use my privilege and use my mm -hmm. gifts to give the voiceless their platform to exist. Beautiful. Um, You're amazing. Now, we've asked you. you on our socials if you've got any questions for Candice. And Palesa Lisa Sakwane said, my question to Candice is, how does she handle the pressure of being young in the industry? Um, is that pressure or is it a blessing? <laughs> Look, a, a lot of times some people might undermine you or they yeah. may discredit your work because they think you're young and that goes with being naive. Yeah. Um, a lot of people also seem to think that I'm 15, 16, 17, mm -hmm. 19, Keep 20. Keep it that way. <laughs> 21, 22, 23 yeah. years old and I'm a lot older. So um, I've, the, I, I'm really grateful that I've had my education to yeah. really solidify my credentials. So at, if any point someone questions the value and the value proposition of who I am as an artist, I say, oh, here's a degree. <laughs> oh, oh, it's an <laughs> honors degree in case you thought. But I love, but I also You're love so being cheeky. young. So there's, so there's there's a blessing in being young, and yeah. the world does and is your oyster. So I know yeah. there's a lot ahead of me, but also there's no time to waste. So I'm hitting the ground running as much as I possibly can. Exactly. Now, Wanda and Lovo <laughs> asked, "Your skin is so radiant. How do you care for your skin?" I do not have like a. I'm, I'm not pedantic. I don't have like a super major routine <laughs> on um, how I keep the skin looking luscious. Mm -hmm. But one thing I definitely do, and my sister Bunte taught me this, that when I remove my makeup, I don't use wipes. I use baby oil. So I take really? yeah. So I take like little cotton pads. I put baby oil on it, and I remove the makeup. Okay. And then I wash my face. I can't and I use, wait I use, to do this. I don't I'm use any do fragrance soap or anything like that. I yeah. use like a normal aqua bar. Yeah. Like no fragrances, no added things. And put that all over my skin. Well, I wash my face with that. And then, yeah. Okay, and I, I get, just learned something new. I'm going to be removing all of this makeup with with baby oil it later. It does wonders. Because I can imagine it gives you a little glow and hydrate. It, it at really the same does. Time. Because sometimes when you use, have you ever noticed when you like you use like a normal makeup wipe yeah. that your face tends to feel a bit dry? Yes. So when you use baby oil, Look it radiates the skin. Learning new things every day on Afternoon Express. Oh, I love an exclusive. Oh. Next question, <laughs> Khambotso Masepela asked, since you came out on Yo, Yo TV, uh, now you're on Generations, what can uh -huh. we expect from you in the next 10 years? Oh my gosh, in the next 10 years. So the, what's really awesome, I mean, I'm currently on a show uh, on another channel, but more series, more films, more mediums, and I really want, and I want to prioritize ownership. So ownership of my own work, ownership mm. of South African stories, being able to bring that into the world, um, but also uh, solidifying myself as an educator. Um, so a lot more will be coming when I do launch my company. A lot of people will know, so stick to the socials, mm. and you mm. guys will get everything, all the scoops and all the greatness, because also I am going to be an auntie quite soon and that <laughs> is something I'm adding to my bio. Thank so when you. you're ready to book me, just know yeah. you're booking someone's aunt. Auntie Candace, thank yes. you. Thank you, Tony Candace. <laughs> Tony, I'm Tony Candace. <laughs> After the break, we prepare the Moriselle's favorite meal, tripe, with cream spinach, butternut, chakalaka, and a Greek salad. <laughs> yeah.